Hi there YouTube, this is Puck. Uh, we're gonna take a look today uh, at Corora Linux and we're gonna install Corora Linux on the laptop that we just uh, installed a new hard drive in. Uh, it's running, it's running and up. So uh, let's go ahead and boot from the USB bootable stick uh, that you could see in my previous video how to create a Corora uh, Linux bootable USB stick under Windows. So let's get started. Okay, we pop in the USB stick and we are gonna hit F12 in this case to get in the boot selection of the Dell D630, just hit F12 and choose the USB stick to boot from. As you can see, we are booting here and after a little we will get into the desktop it will go kind of fast the download file is uh, the download of the file is uh, 1.9 gigabyte this is the mate edition so there we are this is how it looks if you just installed it Wi-Fi uh, was uh, working I had to turn it on at the side uh, the Dell machines they have this particular little Wi-Fi slide button so it's on and we are connected to Wi-Fi so we just gonna run the installer and the installer is pretty straight up but it's kind of different than the one from Ubuntu as you can see here it found my keyboard it found my uh, my location only the hard drive we had to fix well on this uh, drive uh, let me think I had in fact not so much installed so what we're gonna do in here is just select the complete drive if you have other partitions just delete them there were some partitions on it so I just deleted them and uh, in fact uh, I used the complete drive for this installation okay and when you did that when you fix that and you get around that you will be able to continue the installing you will also find out that sometimes you click and then you must wait just a little before you know it really does whatever it has to do so in here I was kind of discovering um, yeah the partition manager but gladly it had the automatic partitioning and automatic does everything you know completely automatic so everything will be installed the right way so that is what we're doing here and I think it found it and it will start the installing after this we will still need to create an account and set the root password for this machine but as you can see the installer already started and soon this will be installed so here we finish the installer and now we must go ahead and set a root password because that is what it's asking us we must click on the little things that have a little uh, exclamation mark as you can see both of them have that exclamation mark really small I was kind of blunt here I had to you know really um, <laughs> understand what was happening but then I found it and you know Linux is for smart people eh? so uh, yeah Now that we found it, it uh, is kind of easy. We just make a root password here, and uh, I made a real weak password because it was for Millie. This laptop is for Millie. It's her laptop. Her hard drive broke down. Up here, we can uh, create an account. It will be for Millie. So let me do that real fast. okay we're done and now we can sit back and relax and let the installer do its thing boom so there we are and my baby is installed we just installed uh, Corora Linux uh, on this machine and we're just gonna reboot her now okie doke there we go 
and we can just boot as you can see everything went right with the bootloader everything was done even though I removed the stick before uh, it told me to remove it and the line that you see here is the boot up line this is uh, kind of real-time boot what you're seeing now so it's kind of fast it's not slow or whatsoever and this is all happening on an old Dell D630 it's a dual core machine um, it has an Intel processor and I think it's really good I have the 830 myself so uh, I also had this machine before but I traded for another machine and this is it there you go this is the desktop and you will find out that uh, you will have to log in again with your Wi-Fi it did not remember all the settings probably because I removed the stick but uh, this is it uh, peeps it looks uh, really nice here the desktop wallpaper changed out of itself and uh, yeah I must say um, it looks very good um, in my next video of course uh, we're gonna make a desktop recording of what this is and what we can do with it and how I will experience it because uh, as you know um, yeah I'm really into Linux Mint and I kind of understand what I'm doing there and uh, you know even installing apps from out the terminal so I learned a lot in Mint so we'll have to see if I will kind of understand this but it looks kind of promising and uh, it feels kind of stable um, so yeah I think this is kind of really nice to test out because uh, Corora is what uh, Linux Mint is to Ubuntu, but then, Fedor, uh, but then to Fedora. Oh my gosh, <laughs> how should I say it in a better way? But you kind of understand what I'm saying, you know. Um, Ubuntu and Linux Mint, you know, and this is Fedora and Corora, so they are kind of family of each other. So what kind of counts for Fedora also counts for Corora. You understand installing procedures with RPMs instead of punt depth files. It's kind of a little bit different. All right, installing stuff, etc. Around, I could not find that yet. Uh, with this uh, quick look that I'm having here, we just installed it. So you know, I'm just showing you a bit around. But uh, yeah, you will hear more about that in, of course, uh, my review about this operating system. Alrighty, here we're taking a look at some wallpapers. We can change uh, the wallpapers around. There are a lot of wallpapers and they look really good at peeps. There are some beautiful, beautiful look at this one. Wow, amazing. Thumbs up there for the uh, wallpapers uh, Corora. They look really good. I think wallpapers are also very important. Eh? I think Linux Mint also has beautiful wallpapers. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of... Uh, talking about Linux Mint once in a while because that is in fact the yeah the version that I will compare it to so in fact um, yeah uh, this is uh, for me of course a challenge because yeah Fedora works kind of different than uh, Debian and it works different again from Ubuntu and uh, yeah that's it in fact peeps it looks really good uh, I should give it a try out a uh, link of course will be in the description go ahead download the 32-bit or the 64-bit the mate the cinnamon or the what was it LXDE desktop I saw of course the gnome is out there so you should check it out uh, they are uh, in all sorts of versions out there on the website and uh, it looks really outstanding beautiful ain't it well, in fact, I don't have to make this video any longer. You now saw how to install Corora on, uh, on a laptop. And you can see it's running really good. So, peeps, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and see you in my next video.